Hello friends. In this video we will learn about how to write equation of motion when a pendulum is swinging in a vertical circle. So this problem says a ball suspended by a spring swings in a vertical plane at a given angular amplitude such that the acceleration of the ball are equal at its extreme and bottom position and we have to find the angular amplitude of the swinging ball. So let us say here I have a swinging pendulum so this is the lowest position initially it was at the lowest position and then it starts swinging at certain point of time this is at, it, at its extreme position. So angular amplitude let us say theta is the angular amplitude. Length of this string is also given that is L and the mass of this string is M and this is suspended through point O. And now the problem also says that the angular acceleration of ball are equal at its extreme and bottom position. So this is given that the angular accelerations are equal. So what are the things that is given in this problem? So we have been given mass, length and this is extreme position that is known and we have to find angular amplitude theta. So theta is unknown and this we have to find. So find the angular amplitude. Now how will you solve this problem? If you remember when a bob is moving in a circle there are two components of acceleration. One is radial acceleration, another is at tangential acceleration. And we have to consider two positions. Position A is the lowest position and position B is the extreme position. So if you remember radial acceleration is nothing but V square by R and in this case R is L and tangential acceleration is nothing but dV by dt and which you can also find force in the tangential direction divided by mass in the mass total mass of the object. So let us first discuss point B. So at B what will be the radial acceleration that is V square by L. Now so this is the extreme position this means velocity is, velocity is uh, basically maximum uh, this is the position is maximum this means velocity has to be zero that's why otherwise it will go further so velocity at the extreme position is zero so this is zero square by L so radial acceleration is zero why this because at this position at this uh, this is extreme position that's why this is happening so this is because this is extreme position otherwise velocity is not zero then ball will rise further and then this will not be an extreme position some position some other position will be the extreme position now what will be the tangential acceleration at this point so what are the forces that is acting so you can see one force will be acting like in this direction and this will come from the component of mg so mg is acting in the downward direction now this mg will have two component one component is in this direction this angle is theta so this will be mg cos theta another component will come in this direction and this will be simply mg sin theta so let me write so this will be mg sin theta. So force in the tangential direction is mg sin theta. So we can use this expression ft by m to calculate the acceleration in the tangential direction. So mg sin theta this divided by mass will give me acceleration in the tangential direction that is g sin theta. Now let us consider the lowest point that is point A. So at A what is happening? So forces are acting like this. So this is tangential. So there is no component of the force in this direction. So I can say in this case tangential acceleration is zero. What about radial acceleration that is V square by L. 
so we have to find b so how will you find b in this case so you have to use energy conservation so you see i can make a line something like this and then what will be this length in that case so this length will be so how much will be this length so this length should be okay so this length will be l cos theta so this is l so this will be l cos theta so let me simply write this length is l cos theta so this length is l cos theta so from this distance to this distance this length is l cos theta so we have to find v square so we can use energy conservation to find v square so if i use energy conservation so loss in potential energy so loss in potential energy is mgh and h in this case is cos theta so loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy and kinetic energy let's say at this point velocity is v so this is equals to half mv square so from here i can write v square is 2gl cos theta so now i have radial acceleration so radial acceleration will be v square by l so radial acceleration will be 2gl cos theta now the question says that the acceleration of ball are equal in extreme position and bottom position use this fact and we have already calculated the acceleration solve this problem pause this video and we will see the solution okay so let us try to solve this problem so basically there was one mistake here this h h will be uh, this will be not l cos theta so this h i need so this h is the loss in potential energy so this will be l minus l cos theta so here i have to write mz l minus l cos theta so this will become so let me write it here so this will be mz l l minus cos theta so this is 1 minus cos theta so v square will be 2z l 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta so this was the mistake so radial acceleration will be radial acceleration is 2z l 1 minus cos theta so now you have to equate the acceleration so at point b what is the total acceleration g sin theta because radial acceleration is zero and at point a what is the total acceleration that is 2z l 1 minus cos theta so 2z l 1 minus cos theta is equals to g sin theta and you have to solve this so now you can simply solve so 2z l 1 minus cos theta is nothing but 2 sin square theta by 2 and this is equals to z and then we can write 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so this g cancels out and then l should also cancel out so let's see there should be some l uh, this l is gone here because this is v square by l so this will l not be there this l will not be there so ar is simply 2z 1 minus cos theta so now what you will have to also cancels so you will have 2 sin square theta by 2 2 sin square theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 is equals to 0 this means if you take sin theta by 2 is common so you will have 2 sin theta by 2 minus cos theta by 2 is equals to 0 this means either sin theta by 2 is equals to 0 or tan theta by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 sin theta by 2 this means theta is equals to 0 degree which is not possible in this case 
So we have only one solution left that is tan theta by 2 is equals to half. This means theta by 2 is equals to tan inverse 1 by 2. So theta is the amplitude which is equals to 2 tan inverse 1 by 2. So this will be the amplitude for this pendulum in this case. So now a question for you. So now in this case we said the acceleration at point A and point B are same. But what will happen, let's say if I frame the question something like this, if acceleration of bottom point is half of the acceleration at the topmost point, that is the extreme point. So what will be the theta in that case? What will the amplitude in that case? So let us comment this in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy, please share with your friends. Thank you.